Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dave, DLC Dave, and welcome back to Rise of the Phoenix. We're on episode 30. Episode 30 today. It's been a bit of a landmark to reach that, uh, that particular episode number. And I'll start off with a little, a, a, a very quick apology. We, well, I've not, I haven't uploaded for about a week now, just because it's been a uh, insanely busy week at work. I work in a school and last week was back to school week and as you can imagine yeah the kids are quite demanding so yeah but we are hopefully this week now i should be a, a little less busy and i can get some episodes out pretty regularly for you so as you see on the screen we're playing fleetwood town today and if you also see on the screen good start it's been a it's been a very good start to be fair you have a look at this now we after the 6-1 demolition on barnet we we did lose in against reading in the uh, efl cup first round disappointing really to go out that, that the first hurdle but we it was reading our championship team yeah and we we put up a decent fight against them but as you can see our cons our you know we, we were three one down and that was really just a consolation so probably not as close as it actually looked but it was a shame. Now, one of the biggest shames in that was Chris Sinton picked up an injury, which, put it, which basically put him out since then. He picked up a torn hamstring. So all he's done is play those, he's played that game pretty much. He's played those two games, the first two, and he's, he was out for, I think it was four months at the time, and he's still got two more months to go. So he is, he is a big miss for us. Um, but we followed up that that, uh, that, that disappointing defeat with a, uh, a, a run of, well, five wins. As you can see, a 2 0 at 2 of Accrington. Pretty pretty comfortable, really. Alan Skinner and Nathan Smith getting the goals. Unfortunately, Bogey got sent off. That was a real disappointment. But we, we, we didn't miss him. We then went and won at 7 2 against Bristol Rovers. Goals, goals, goals. Um, yeah, it was an unbelievable result, really. Two goals for Beachy, two for Weaver, and then one each for Skinner, Smith, and Wilson. And then followed up with a 2-0 win. Seems to be like big score. Big score, little score, big score. Oh, no, actually not, not quite. Because Wimbledon, they won 5-0. But a 2-0 win. Uh, it's a Tyreek Reese own goal. And then a Jimmy Gale fairly late on just to wrap up the points. And then a 6-2 win away at Cambridge. Ben Bici with a hat-trick. Alan Skinner with two. And Paul Phillips with one. Very good result. And then a trick -trick trophy. Only 374 fans. Turned up for this one. As we were our team in in our league, yeah, and we were but we were able to win five 0 A hat trick for Gavin Robson, a name you may not be too familiar with. Really, he sort of now he sort of become the backup wide wide right player. He's not amazing, but as you can see, he's you know, <laughs> if given an opportunity, he can score. He's got eleven finishing, twelve composure. He's he's all you know. He's got fourteen acceleration, twelve pace. He's he's not terrible. It's just probably not got the. Um, it's probably not as well rounded as, as I would like for a right-sided player. So we're going to get into the game now. As you can see, that the lineup, we have Bradford in goal, the usual back four of Hutchins, Dennis, and Johnson, Espinosa. We have a four in Peacock in midfield. Then we have Weaver, Beachy, and Wilson in behind Bogey. He's going to lead the line for us today. We have three injuries. Something I told you about. Smith is out for a few weeks with a sprained ankle. And Alan Skinner is, isn't out for very long. He's uh, he also twisted his ankle, but he's, he's towards the end of that recovery phase, and he will be back maybe for the next game, but maybe, or maybe be on the bench for that. Um, so I've got I've gone for Bogey up front. He's he's obviously not a natural. That I mean he's he's not he's not bad. I mean to be honest, he's just he's just a fabulous footballer. But you know he's not he's not he's not terrible at that role and. I think I mentioned in the last episode that he may end up being part of our options up front. And that's the way it's turned out. I prefer to see him deeper, but it's because you know, he's got fantastic physical stats. His mental is very good. Finishing of ten, perhaps on a slight low side, but he's two footed. He's 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 probably actually maybe even more suited to being a striker than he is of in midfield. He's just. He's just our best player, and I want him to be getting on the ball as much as possible. And 
being in midfield can suit him to do that. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to get into the game. Let's see the team do it. We can pick up where we left off a while ago now. Here we are. We're at the Phoenix Forts ground. Looking majestic as always. Looking not filled as always. And we kick off. Sitting from right to left in our usual green home shirts. And let's see how we get on. It's been a, it has been a little while since I've recorded this at all, so I'm feeling my way back into it a little bit. All right, we have a throw in, 20 minutes in. Peacock finds a fourie into Bogey. He puts it out wide to Espinosa, back in field. And now Weaver to Bogey. Oh, it's a, it's a good save by Jeanin. Jenin, Jeanin. I'll go with Jeanin. And Bogey had a chance there, possibly should have scored. Um, it was a good, a lot, quite a bit of space, but he shook it well enough just to keep it, just keep a Reddit, I suppose. A half an hour in, that's all, we, all, we've, all we've seen us do, really. Fleetwood Town look like they've, they've come to sit and frustrate. So it's the, way, the way we started the season, that's no surprise. Okay, we have a free kick here. Ben Bitchy's on it, it's cleared. Gets it again though, crosses it in, and that should be a goal. Matthew Johnson has a free header, the keeper was committed, and all he has to do is get it on target, and that's a goal. But he couldn't, and we go into the get, we go into half time at 2 0. I'm going to be aggressive, I'm going to tell him it's not what I want to see. Get them fired up, get them motivated, and hopefully push them to where uh, just some individual ones for the players that didn't react. That worked well. Oh, that one didn't do anything. Okay, so that's a pretty, pretty good team talk. Hopefully we can push on from here. They can fight, get them fired up. No red cards though, that would be that would be the ideal. And go and get ourselves a uh, a goal that really we, we do deserve. I'm not sure this is... Yeah, I was going to say, I wasn't sure it was a, whether it was a pointless highlight or something was coming, but it answered my question. <clears throat> so I'll give it to about the 65th minute. If nothing's happening, I'll... I'll we'll <coughs> excuse me. When it's happening, I will look to make a sub or two, try and push for that winner. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna look, look to change it a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring on Adam Kane for Jacob Wilson, and I'm also going to try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Gavin Robson a go. So he's got a hat trick in, in the last game. Do I make a trade? So do I bring on Paul Phillips? Oh, it's a risk, but I may as well go for it. Yeah, so I'm going to bring on those those two players. Gary Robson, not 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 the most amazing player, but he did score a hat trick in the last game, so he should be should be feeling feeling good. And yeah, we're going to make those changes. I'm also going to do a quick uh, sort of touchline team talk. Passionately push forward because they haven't they haven't had a shot in this game. They are not interested in attacking, so I feel like we can. And there it is. <laughs> Just. Immediately, since foot injury, so that's, that, that's a broken foot. Okay. Well, I've got no right right side player then. Okay. Oh, and that. Right. So. Well, this escalated quickly, didn't it? Right, so pick up and play. In defence, Williams will. What's that? Williams. Phillips will come back. I don't know. We'll call Williams, and that's what we're going with. I'm going to switch the away tactic. Try and protect a little bit, and this is what we're doing now. We have the ball with Bogey. Finds Kane. I don't see his. Yeah, they're going to just counter it and score, aren't they? It's a. This is a ridiculous game. Yep, there it is, Nuttall. It's ridiculous, really. Cheers, cheers, FM. Absolutely disgraceful to lose this game. Even even with nine men, they they they, they deserve nothing. Agipong puts it in. Nuttall from a tight angle. Bradford should save it. To be fair, it's straight at him at the near post. But he doesn't. Of course, he doesn't because we knew we, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming. And there a corner. We can get Eddie clear, and that's the end of the game. Yep. And they win 1-0 after not having a shot for 75 minutes. And the game, as soon as I make the three subs, just deciding that I was going to lose two players. 
very, very disappointing. Literally, this pretty much, it's, you know, the main thing I made those subs, one of them got injured, which we'll, we'll see how bad that is. And then, then a red card, a second yellow. I think it was probably a red card. It was supposed to be a second yellow. There was a chance at a break on, but just it happened so quickly after the year. Uh, suspension. Robson. Oh, just the tall ankle ligaments. Okay, right. I'm going to issue my warning if it's only a second yellow. Okay. So that was disappointing. That was unforeseen, really, after the, the, the run of games we've been on. But I suppose you know it was never going to be a never going to win every game, and yeah, it's just going to be a tougher league, obviously. So yeah, we're going to look to come back a point at a point, a point in October. I think Fleetwood. I'm, I think I'm sure I picked Fleetwood because they were the team that was uh, yeah they, they were the team that was closest to us in terms of media prediction. So I thought they'd be the strongest. In actual fact, they were. They played fairly appallingly. They, they got very fortunate that circumstances dictated that they could come forward towards the end. So, okay, yeah, I think we'll come back for the uh, the Chicka Chay Trophy, the big one against Gillingham. They're in the league above us, so it will give us an idea of where we sit in that in the tenth in league one. So yeah, we've got a, a reasonable a reasonable chance, hopefully. And yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you back. I'll see you back for that. If you have enjoyed today's episode, guys, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Follow me on Twitter, of course, at DRCDave1. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.